Hello everybody, welcome back to the adventures of Egon McGonagall. It is the era of the Western Empire. The dark purple cities you can see here are the Western Empire. They are the biggest power in the land. We're this tiny little power up north and a little bit in the east. We are still super weak. We are the weakest power, I believe. Uh, yeah, that, that still exists. The Sturgeons are now gone. I don't know who finished them off, but they're gone. The rebel group that came out of the Sturgeons, they're gone. It is just us. Uh, the Kuzate, the Western Empire, the Southern Empire. The Southern Empire is still around? Wow, we're almost as powerful as them. They've fallen on hard times. The Azerai and the Vlandians. Uh, and if you remember from the last war, when we got attacked on two fronts, we got the shit kicked out of us and we almost lost everything. Another two-front war could end it. If we click on the little button here, we look at our vassals. If we summoned all of our vassals that have armies, and all of our parties, we would have maybe 800 men. I would make an argument that we need probably about 2,000. If we can get an army 2,000 strong, we can probably defend against anyone. And maybe go on the offense. Probably not. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to call Vassalathon 1011. I think that's the year we're in. No, it's 1102. Vassalathon 1102. I'm going to send messages to every damn vassal that we might have a chance to recruit, because once again, the game is stupid, and we can't recruit ex batanians or Sturgeons, people who have lost their home country. You would think we'd be the perfect fit, but whatever. I'm going to go message every other vassal that we may have even a remote chance of trying to woo to our side, and then I will be back if anyone responds to that. <laughs> We have our first contestant on Vassalathon. I've talked to like two dozen people who have said no. Archon Taznor, he kind of doesn't like us. Yo, Archon Taznor, have I got an opportunity for you? You look skeptical, your hat looks stupid, but we love you even though you're stupid. You know, I, Egon, am the rightful ruler of this land. Maybe you'd like to work for me? I barely know you, and you're talking treason. You're a man of honor. You know me as one as well. Well, you do seem pretty honorable. Yes, critical success. Uh, but I gave an oath to my liege to break it, even for a good reason, it would be a stain on my honor. You know very well that in politics, oaths are easily made and just as easily broken. Okay, one more success. One more success. And we've gotten one vassal and vassal of thon. We need like five to ten. I consider Elbos to be an upright ruler. Egon is not. Hey, I'm Egon. Obos isn't known for his sense of loyalty, though. Why do you feel so much to him? Oh, that didn't work. He didn't like that one. No. You are somewhat outnumbered. Even if I agree with you, it would be wise of me to wait. All right, we've got one last chance. I have a strategy to win, and my strategies always work. Eventually? Ah, fuck you, you fuckface! I didn't even want you! No. I will not betray my liege. Well, we just shot our wad with this loser. We have vassal contestant number two. I'm only counting the ones that are willing to hear me out. <laughs> this doesn't count the dozens who haven't been willing to. From the Southern Empire, we have Archon Sykonis. Archon, would you like to join McGonagall and company? Uh, I don't know. I don't know you well enough to discuss something like this. You know me. Egon McGonagall is a man of honor, of course. I don't know that. Ah, fuck. Fuck. I gave my oath a leash. Yeah, but you know, people say a lot of shit, baby. That's just pillow talk. Oh, that. Oh, we're fucked. We're not going to get this guy. I've been through a lot. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, I hear Elbus hates you. He says you're stupid. Wait, what? He says what now? Um, you're somewhat unnumbered even if I agree with you. I have a strategy to win. I always win, baby. And that's not what I heard. I heard you a loser. All right. So, we failed again. I have no idea where we are on Vassalathon because I have talked to so many people who don't want to even consider what we have to say. But here we are with a Kazate uh, Vashorki Beg, and I need to beg you, will you join me? I love your helmets, you guys are great. I don't know, I know you well enough. Dude, you gotta know my reputation is Egon, I always win, except for I, when I'm losing and I'm kind of a nice guy. It wouldn't be in my interest to betray you, because I'm desperate for help. <laughs> in effect, though. 
No, that's not enough. You know, Monshog, Chug, your boss there, he asked you to do dishonorable things. I heard, like, uh, eat your own poop. That's gross. Yeah, he does do that, and I don't like it. All right, all right. Um, shit. Put your interest in the good of the realm first. Think of the good things you can do working with us. But Monshog's my friend. I don't think I want to listen to you. I got good strategies, maybe? Why, that sounds good. You're not going to do it, though, are you? Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this guy's like, farewell. If no one slits your throat out there, perhaps we shall meet again. Yeah. All right, maybe this guy will do it. He's from one of the empires. Where are you from? The, S the southern empire? I'm the rightful ruler of the land, don't you think? Oh, yeah, that sounds like an uh, argument to me. I won't argue with that. All right, critical success. But I gave an old cell boast. Yeah, but that guy's a douchebag. Yeah, I agree. I don't like him at all. One more success. And we get that stewed. Our odds are not very good. But Albus is my friend. Come on, he's not loyal to you. I heard he said you smell like poo-poo. No, he doesn't. He says I smell very nice. All right. Um, uh... But I have a strategy to win. It's called Winathon. That sounds like bullshit. I'm not joining you. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, we got another douchebag we had a chance with from the Southern Empire. Somebody wrote on his face, I'm a man of honor. You want to be a part of that, right? I do. All right, crit success. This is a good start. Um, you know Utos asked you to do dishonorable things, right? He does all the time. I like to tell his wife she's not ugly, but she's the ugliest. All right. Um, but you put your interest in good for the realm first. And, you know, there's too much at stake for hanging out with a loser empire. I heard your empire sucks too. No, no. What about winning strategy? Have you heard about Winathon? I have. It sounds great. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I have talked to like three dozen people. Only a few of them have been willing to... Let us try and persuade them. I'm joining. You're a winner. You're a winner, too. Oh, he wants me to pay him? All right, here's... Oh, my God. He wants a ton of money. Fine. We're desperate. Here's a shitload of money. Ma, I work for you now. My name is Torvavis. Excellent. We only need four more guys like that. Or maybe not. We're not going to get nine. But one. <laughs> Vasilathon has one success. Well, now that Vassalathon is done, and it was hopefully a minor success, it was a minor success. Not a great success, but not a total disaster. We need to find another way to grow, and we've seen the major powers. The Western Empire is the strongest, then the Vlandians, and the Kuzate, and we can't stand up to any one of them. But there's one power we might have a chance against. I don't know. Oh, what did I just knock over? Sorry. <laughs> not the Azerai. It's the Southern Empire here. Technically, we fought a war with them long ago. I barely remember it because we were fighting a bunch of other wars. We won that war, though, as they are paying us tribute right now. But if we declared war against them, maybe we could take some of their towns. They are more powerful than us, Then we've got to be smart. But they're a lot closer to us than... The, this is total strength. You can see the Western Empire and the Kuzates and the Blandians blow us out of the water. But the Southern Empire we might have a chance against. Unfortunately, and it would also be nice because here's Sicard's town. We could try and build a second power base. We have the one up there, one down here. I wouldn't like them divided, but, you know, we got to make do with what we have. Unfortunately for us, though, I was just an Acolat and the Emperor is here. So if we attack there, odds are very high that they're going to summon a bunch of armies. But I think we're going to go for it. So let's give this a shot. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to Diplomacy, let's go to the Southern Empire, we're gonna declare war on them. Okalet and whoever this other guy is, one of the guys we got in, um, what was it, Vassalathon, they don't want this war. But you know what, tough shit guys, we got to do something to, we, if we don't, ex we, we have to expand or we're gonna die. It's, it's that simple. If we don't expand, we will get destroyed by the other powers. So let's summon. Let me hit the wrong fucking button. Let me summon all the armies we can. 
some of them will be nearby. Most of them are going to be far away. Uh, like, days away. So we're going to create an army, summon all these guys. That's going to cost us some influence. In the meantime... Why don't we try and siege Akalat? If they start to send troops in this direction, we will have to stop. Well, I already see troops in this direction. All right, let's go fight them. Come on, bitches, let's fight. Don't don't go in there. Don't go in there. You cunts. You come come fight me. Come fight me. Or you. Apparently they're sending all these ar armies here. I assume they're trying to defend the Emperor. Get over here. Can we trap you in the mountains? This is not good. All these other armies that are on our butt. Come on, just let us catch you. Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. My name is Egon, and I will be... Would you want to leave your king? No! You'd have to talk to my dad about that! Well, I'm Egon, and I will be destroying you today. Um, let's, uh, hook you up with these dudes. Gentlemen and ladies. Um, just fucking charge. Screw tactics. My only tactic is to murder. Let's do it, boyos. For me and country. Sucks to be you, nerds. Uh, let's get out our trusty bow. Keep it up, Glint. Are they chasing us or are they finding a different position? I'm not sure. I'm right over here! Now I'm over here! They fucked my horse up, though. Somebody's gotta die for that. Ooh, right up the booty hole. My camera work was awful there, though. My hand slipped off the mouse. All right, you wait here, Glint. I've got people to kill. Would you like to meet a king? So much for your empire. Ow, what a jerk. Good job, man. Keep it up. If we can smash their armies separated, then we have a real chance to pick up, hopefully, a town and a castle. Glint! You're not Glint. Where's my horse? Let's go, buddy. You're my new friend. Oh. Alright, we won. Not bad. We lost seven guys. Uh, I don't think we really want these prisoners. I would love to have them, but that's going to slow us down, and that's the last thing we need right now. Let's upgrade the dudes that can be upgraded. Who is this? Some other little shit group trying to fight us. See if we can get out after that army that's a hundred strong. Come to me, friendo. We would like to discuss things. I just want to talk to you with my sword. Get over here. It's been a oh, Archon, uh, Archon Nifon. Do you want to join us? He's like, what are you talking about? I heard your ruler's a loser, and he poops his diapers. He wears diapers? Yup. I, I don't know if I trust you enough to discuss his bowel movements. Dude, is not my reputation not awesome? Well, I guess it's kind of good. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Um, and you know, well, I don't know, though. I can't leave him. I promise to be his friend. Dude. Dude, he poops himself. 
No, I have friends with the pooper still. All right, all right. Um, almost is my friend. I can't imagine betraying him. What if you think? Close your eyes and think real hard. No. <laughs> all right, we're not gonna get this guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be like, no. All right, we're gonna have to fight then, bro. You had a chance. I can't break my oath. Well, then you're gonna have to get your ass pummeled. All right, troops, let's go do it. Everybody charge. Piece by piece, we're going to attempt to dismantle this empire. Come over here! Yeah. Nice shooting, dudes. Uh, where are the rest of them? Oh wait, they're right there. They're hiding under that tree. It's like only a little bit of shade here and everybody's like, it's a hot day, I want that shade. Stop trying to kill my people, I don't appreciate it. I don't feel bad about this war though, because they declared war on us long ago. Did one of you shoot me? Y'all going? <laughs> Throw it over him. I meant to slice him. Oh well, the horse did it. Good job, Glint. I love it when my horse has got murder in his eyes. Who y'all shooting at? Is there one of their commanders right there? This is why it's taking y'all a little bit. There you go. Good job. Um, we don't want the prisoners for the same reason as before. We will take any food or horses, though. How we? How come aren't we getting any leaders to capture? Why aren't we getting the screen where they're like, here's a leader, and you can capture him? Vilder of the Torvring declares war. Is this just... I think this is just some petty clan that declared war on us. This part of the game is so stupidly broken. You have these little petty clans everywhere that we can mop the floor with, but they're like, I'm gonna go fight you! Alright, Pipsqueak, you do that. Now, hopefully the rest of our armies get here soon. They should be somewhere up north. Uh, if we look at our stats, the Southern Empire is still stronger than us, but we're making progress. Those battles have helped us out. Let's see about trying to besiege this again. Oh, somebody got a point in something. Uh, Begay the Knowing got a point in riding. Hey, you're figuring it out, bro. Uh... Your horse is better at charging or something. Seems like the horse is the one who should be getting the credit for that. Let's get them trebuchets. Ooh la la. The enemy only has five days worth of food. Yeah, come on, stragglers. Come join the army. The more the merrier. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody get up in here. Uh, we're going to put you in the reserve. We're going to start building a battering ram. I may not wait to knock the walls down. I, I don't think time is on our side since we do know the enemy is stronger than us. Uh, we're going to actually cancel these other trebuchets. This is just in case a bigger army shows up. Okay, we're going to... You get in here. Let's deploy the trebuchets. Knock out those catapults.
All right, we're going to lead an assault. That means there will be ladders on the walls. I mean, technically, I think the trebuchets might be able to damage them. I don't, I don't think they will, though. All right, boys, man the trebuchets. Man the battering ram. Chop, chop. Don't mind me, I'm going in. All right, I gotta go, Glint. Take it easy. Go get us something to eat. Up and in, everybody. I gotta hope we can climb this faster than they show up. See, it's a night attack, right? We're trying to sneak surprise attack them. Oh, oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. Over the battlements, over the battlements. Oh shit, there's nowhere to go. Hey, what's up, buddy? Don't shoot my friendos. Ooh, nice move. Everybody else over the wall, they're not ready. They weren't able to get here in time. Oh shit! <laughs> Please don't kill me, my side. That guy made the saddest. Ooh, can I pick this up? No. Ooh! Sorry! I was, I was looking at a stone on the ground. <laughs> I'm still bitter that my sword doesn't have the bonuses it should have for being custom built, because the uh, devs don't ever fix the broken things in the game. Let's go, boys! For me! Alright, so there's the door right down there. If I drop in there, I might get stuck. If we come in this way, though, hopefully we can open the door for the other guys. Assuming the battering ram isn't there yet. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I've never been to this castle before. I don't know my way. Don't hit me with that, boys. Come on in. Oh, shit. They shut the door behind me. Thanks, other guys. Come here. You all running away? This guy's not. These guys are sauntering towards the keep? Whoa. They afraid we're gonna tell their boss that they weren't working? I swear I was working. Working my what? 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 <laughs> Ooh, what is in here? You... Oh no, I'm in here. That's what's gonna be in here. Don't mind me. I'm looking for baby Jesus. I didn't find him, but maybe you go see him. It would have been nice if I actually hit him instead of whiffed on all that. No, 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 no. I gotta go see Jesus again. Jesus, save me. Apparently, they don't want to come in here. No, no, they do. Oh, shit. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this. Judging by the green in the upper right-hand corner, our guys are butchering them. Looks like this dude is running towards the keep. The big question, then, is who do I give this town to once we've taken it? I'm not giving it to you, you fat. Well, I could give it to... No, I don't think I have enough influence. I would need like 500 influence to give it to someone like Yathan. Yeah, 
victory is ours indeed. Uh, I will take all these troops. We'll donate any extra ones to the garrison. Uh, no food? All right. We will show mercy even though... Oh, man. That's going to cost us... In, we're going to show mercy. As captain of a Acolat, you have the right to first refusal. We are going to take this fief, but we're going to do it for a reason. And that I'm going to give it to someone specifically. Because in Vassalathon, we picked up all of those uh, vassals. And uh, they, don't have, they don't have shit. <laughs> so who doesn't have anything? All right, Paladios, uh, who do, who's the head of your fife? Or, uh, of your clan? I think it's Tor, Torvasis. All right, Torvasis, I'm going to grant you a fief, since you were smart enough to join us. I will grant you Akalat. It is yours now. That makes him happy. We're not going to... Oh, shit. I'm going to do some quick bookkeeping. I'll be right back. And then next time, we will probably try to work our way east and take this castle. Because then the only other Southern Empire stuff is way down here. And I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I might have. Part of the reason we went after the Southern Empire, too, is they're busy with two other wars. But unfortunately, I think we're fighting a sizable amount of their army because they were trying to protect the Emperor who we didn't catch. He escaped, I guess. But either way, I'll see you maybe next time.